What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of E-Electric Productions. I'm Jay and I'm bringing you the third part of the Black Day review. Um, what I mean by third part is, is I did the initial review and I found the game to be extremely broken. I know it was an early access, but I had high levels of concern that this game was too broken to ever be brought to full production value. Um, however, I said if I continue to see updates that I would take another look at it. The devs brought quite a few updates to the table, so I went ahead and took a second look and did an update. And I still couldn't quite recommend the game to the average Steam user who's buying the early access to try to play it, enjoy it, and give some feedback. The game still had some major issues like the scope issue where when I tried to scope in, if I would double click um, the scope key, right mouse button, twice in rapid succession, then I could no longer pull up and hold the weapon in scoped mode without it defaulting right back uh, to regular um, non-scoped mode. It was a weird bug, uh, but it was giving me some issues and it got my character killed a couple of times. So um, I, I couldn't quite recommend it, but the improvement had been huge. Just a huge amount of progress had been made. Well done, devs. So I've continued to see more updates coming out and it seemed like it was time to take another look at Black Day. So here we go, third take on the game. Let's see if any big changes have occurred as far as the options go. I'm going to turn the sound down just a little bit here. As I've got my speakers turned down pretty low and it still seems fairly loud. So I'm just going to kill some of the... Uh... Okay, there we go. As far as video goes... Still has a fair amount of options here. <clears throat> Camera and keys. Um, there's still some redundancy in in the menu system, which I still don't quite understand. That hasn't been cleared up yet. So devs, again, we only really need one iteration of the key bindings. Otherwise, there's like I think three redundancies of the same same options. So I'm not really sure what the deal is with that, but no big deal. That's the least of our concerns. So let's go into sandbox mode. Doesn't look like there's been any real changes from the last time I played. I had Country Town unlocked, and I had uh, the Castle level unlocked. We'll stick with two tasks. There's been quite a bit more gear added, which is really neat to see. I'm going to stick here with this main weapon as it gives me lots of options. Let's go ahead and... What else have we got here? An SKS? Ooh, I like the SKS. Make that a sniper weapon. So actually, let's go ahead and uh, let's choose one of these new weapons. So then we've got a sniper type weapon, an assault type weapon. Got the Desert Eagle, got a Magnum. An Uzi, another handgun, a Beretta. Very cool. So let's go with a Glock and definitely have the silencer and the laser. That sounds great. As far as difficulty goes, I'm pretty happy with all of this. The weighted gear would turn off my climbing, so I'm going to leave the weighted gear option um, disengaged so that I could still climb. I won't get as much XP, but I'm okay with that. So we've got two missions that we have to accomplish. And we've got hack a laptop and steal a laptop. And we'll use this as our insertion point. So right away, one of the things I like to do is turn full auto on. Let's see if they have fixed the scope bug. Scope bug is still broken. I'm holding in the right mouse button right now. I'm clicking it and holding it in. There it goes, now it's working. Click it twice and it's not working again. We've got to get that one fixed, guys, because if you accidentally click the scope button twice in rapid succession, you can no longer scope in. Yeah, something's real wonky with that. I don't know what the deal is or why it does it. Okay, so we've got scoped in SK. You can hold your breath. That's awesome. Got the sniper scope on. So let's start off with the pistol, which gives us the highest mobility. And it's silenced. The Glock, I don't think, has a full auto. No, it does not. So here we go. 
Not much of uh, a change graphically. This game's never going to really win any awards for having just stupendous graphics, but that's that's okay. I mean, not every game has to be a graphical dynamo. You know, that's that's an unrealistic expectation. There we go. So I'm crouched. That way they can't spot me. Devs, I'd still love to see in a game that kind of is going for more of the stealthy approach, I would love to see um, the ability to lean around corners. That would still be a phenomenal addition to this game. Alright, let's see if we can take these guys out. Got him. Whoa! Somebody's shooting at me. So we've got some players up top there. I hear the shots. I'm not sure where they're shooting from, though. I think I got that one. Can't seem to hit him. Got him. Oh, I'm out. So we've got a pretty good firefight going on here. I took a hit. Oh, we've got a rocket. Very cool. Awesome. I, I love it. I love the fact that uh, they can bust out the rocket launcher and sit there. It adds tension to the combat, tension to your sneaking. I totally screwed up there in um, my sneaking ability. Let's make sure this is on full auto. There we go. Now, I'm not seeing... Oh, that's right. This one's not scoped. So this time we're going to go in guns blazing. We're going for it. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to climb. <clears throat> Excuse me. Try to traverse up the side of the, the rock wall here. There we go. Oh, I see a guy up there. Let's switch over to my sniper rifle really quick. Got him. Switch back to my main weapon. Let's go over top of the, uh, the wall here. I know there's a lot of guys right over there, so I'm going to try to come up and around. Do a quick reload. Did I throw that grenade? Did somebody else throw that grenade? That was weird. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Combat feels better. One of those guys had a rocket. Whoa! Got a guy in the pool there. Let's go ahead and reload here real quick. You're free, buddy. Let's move. Where's the other one? The other one is right down there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, I don't know if I can jump this this grass wall here. Oh, 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 oh. 
pretty sure I'd fall to my death. As fault. Not sure where that shot came from. I see the grenade. Okay. We're going for the second person. Here we go. I don't see anybody. We're going for it. I know I only have eight, uh, eight magazines, but I'm going to reload here so I've got a full full magazine. Let's go around the barrier there. I don't see anybody. Let's move. I'd like to see the ability to change the uh, pop-in. Maybe push the draw distance out a little further. Stuck on the terrain there. Still stuck on the terrain there. Okay, pushing forward. Go ahead and reload right now while we got the chance. I'm gonna jump the wall here. I think pretty sure I saw another guy. I thought I did. Guess not. Okay, we're pushing inside of this uh, subway station. It's pretty cool. All the moving signs. Makes you look twice to make sure there's not actually enemies in there. Mm, got some floating trash there. A couple enemies in there. Another one. Alright, let's grab this guy and go. Hard to see sometimes if it's actually an enemy or not. We've got both of them. Got him. Let's get out of here. Leap the wall, and head on out. Whoa. Devs, you see in this right here? Might want to get that fixed. It's jacked up there, too. And I can actually see the tree coming through there. I know it's not... I know none of this stuff I'm pointing out is the end of the world, but it is both immersion-breaking and, uh... It, it just brings down the overall production value. As I'm sure you understand. I know this is a nitpick, but this path seems... Well, I guess it's just a footpath. It just seems small somehow. It just looks weird to me. But that really is a very minor nitpick. However, that little bit of rendering that's happening with the path, I don't... There's got to be a way to adjust where that's not happening. It just looks weird. Our draw distance should be further than that. And there we go. Mission completed. And I unlocked a new SMG. SMG 45. Okay. So how's the game faring? Um, good. I I'd say it's faring well. Uh, I have some issues with the, um, the overall fit and finish. It's early access, I get it. I'm just saying... There's a lot of work that needs to be done there with the fit and finish, you know, finding the uh, the planter boxes that were elevated above the ground. Um, that scope bug has got to be fixed. Even the, f the like flickering flashing here on this, this screen with uh, the, the EOTech 
red dot sight um, or holographic sight things like that um, I, I know that stuff's minor but they all add up and they they lower the overall production value um, I know that this is stuff that you guys are working on 483 XP huh so we still only have it looks like the four levels area 47 lost island country town and uh, the castle okay I know you guys are working hard on this and I'm I can see the effort and energy that's going in and the title is definitely improving that run that I just did there is the most fun I've had in the game thus far so that's really really good um, the enemy AI is improving the overall combats improving it's feeling better I don't feel like I'm constantly fighting with the combat system, I'm being able to use the combat system, which is fantastic. I cannot harp on this enough. Please, 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 please fix the scope issue. All I can tell you is, just bring the scope up to your eye in rapid succession two or three times, and then try to bring it up a fourth time and hold it there, and the gun will not stay um, scoped. It will not. Um, that's We've got to fix that one. That's a big one. Um... Yeah, but I, I, it's coming along, it's it's really coming along, I'm really impressed with what I'm seeing so far. I like it a lot. Um, I encourage you to keep doing what you're doing, and I'm going to keep doing reviews and updates to the game, uh, and, and that's pretty much all there is. I mean, as you continue to work on the fit and finish, as you continue to bring more things to the game, um, as you continue to clear up some of these minor bugs and little issues like having redundant... Um, uh, key mapping um, menu and things like that. None of these things are, are horrible, but but they all keep kind of adding up. Um, you know, the draw distance, having a draw distance slider would be great. Um, all these kinds of different things are, are really going to help the game and, and bring it to the point that you're wanting it uh, to be. I'm heading into the castle really quick. One of the things I noticed last time I played uh, was that things were really buggy inside the castle. Oh yeah, my character getting stuck on that little tiny piece of scenery in the last level. Little things like that um, are, are what's going to you know drive the reviews down uh, as far as people's feedback, as far as positive versus negative, more specifically, sorry. Uh, and I, these are things that are very fixable. So, great job. You guys are doing a really good job. And if it seems like I'm being hard on the title, honestly, it's because I want to see it succeed. I love the idea of the um, the customizable gameplay and you kind of getting to pick what you're going up against. I hope you add in like quite a few more levels and that the game continues to grow and progress and see more and more content added. I really like what I'm seeing here. Um, I've refunded the game uh, both times before after after playing it. I mean, I could lie, but there's really no point in it. Whoa! And I'm not going to this time. Like, I'm really enjoying the progress that I'm seeing here. Um, I want to continue to play this and see it succeed. Um, I'm going to be keeping this now, which means I'll be continuing to play and do, do more updates to it. Um, the combat is becoming a lot more visceral. Again, I, I would really like to see the inclusion of leaning left and right. That's going to add a lot to this title. Okay, so this is the first time that I've gotten to... Whoa! Not sure exactly... Oh! That was a huge mistake. Oh, that was my fault. I didn't know how to move the chopper up and down. Very cool, though. I know you included uh, the addition of vehicles. The movement inside the castle was a lot better. I'm seeing a ton of improvement. I want to see this title succeed. Please continue to do what you're doing and working on your title as, as well as you are and bringing these updates to the game. Bravo. Good job. Again, I apologize for coming down on this so hard the first time. Um, way too many early access titles get put out there and then the ball's dropped and people just expect people to buy it as is and you get one, maybe two updates over two years, then they release it as a full release without addressing the things that need to be addressed and people just feel like their money is just robbed. Um, so I'm going to continue to be kind of a cynical slash critical 
reviewer, but thank you so much for proving me wrong on this title and for bringing so much content already and uh, updating and improving the game so much. It's That's such a credit to you guys and gives me some hope for the Steam community and for, for games that continue to come out on Steam that we're going to continue to get good content, especially from indie developers and smaller development teams. So that's going to do it for this um, this update, guys. I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching, and I look forward to seeing all of you on the next episode of Electric Productions. Game on, everyone.